this inspiration. Uh, I think, you uh, know, uh, inspiration to take up cricket, definitely just like you watching cricket on TV and, you know, uh, seeing, uh, seeing Sachin and uh, David and Kumblesh and Srinath's goal in the TV, that's, that's a big inspiration, you know. And definitely another thing just to, you know, that motto in life to achieve something, you know, that's, that's a basic inspiration that it's always there. How was your cricket journey? Cricket journey, uh, it was not, you know, I, I will say, not the way I wanted it to be or uh, dreamt it to be. Uh, but, uh, you know, it has taught me a lot of things during this journey. It has taught me ups and downs in life, how to take ups and downs in life and, uh, you know, how to handle situations well and all those things. A lot of things to be done, but I, I now I realize that cricket is separate and life is separate and, you know, we, uh, you can mix mix it together and all those things you learn from this uh, journey. So uh, it's been a good journey, still going on, and uh, let's see how it ends. You play cricket for fun, and you play cricket. What do you like to do? Uh, definitely bowl, but uh, these days you know I uh, enjoy my batting more. You know, uh, you know, when when I used to be young, you know, when I used to be young, you know, uh, you know, get the bats and enjoy, it, see the stumps flying, all those, you know, used to like like do that. And uh, now uh, body is not, you know, we <laughs> are uh, allowing me to do those things, but still I enjoy the cricket now. How to select? Uh Good coach? Good coach? Uh, I'm a player, I should not be saying that. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, good coach, you know, you should, uh, you know, you should understand the players well and you should go along with the team and, you know, uh, to say the least, you should take the team as a family, you know, take the field team as a family. Those, those few points that, you know, you can see in a good coach. Otherwise, you know, uh, coaches, you know, it's not to my <laughs> section of, you know, thoughts. So. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in God? Oh, <laughs> good question. The <laughs> yeah, only person I believe is in Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's the way I think to put it. So, uh, yeah, I'm a firm believer in Jesus and uh, and that's why I'm standing here before you because of Jesus. So. How did you feel when you played with uh, great players like Sachin and Sara Ganguly? And uh, are they friendly? Very, very friendly. Too friendly. <laughs> yeah, very good question. In fact, you know, uh, Sachin, Sara, all, all those are, you know, big names. Uh, really big names. So still, for me, they are, you know, somewhere, somewhere different league altogether and very, very big names. So, you know, I started cricket seeing them play on TV, as I earlier said, and, you know, playing against them was a big dream, big, big dream come through. And, uh, you know, uh, and see, seeing seeing the humbleness and simplicity that, you know, that, that's when we realize that they're just, you know, just normal human beings and just what we see on TV is completely different from what we judge them on TV, you know. It's, they are completely different people. They are just simple human, hardworking human beings and, you know, just really a big privilege to play against them. So, so great, you know, so great, great players. And, you know, this very humbling experience to play against them and I think it was uh, God's blessing. What's your personal view on IPL? Ah, man, it's big, sir. <laughs> big, big question. Ah, IPL is good, definitely good for cricket. No doubt about it. No, it's, you know, you see, you see, you see the uh, cars that cricketers drive today. You can, you can say that IPL is good, definitely good. Uh, Commercially, it's fantastic for cricketers, and you know, cricketers have made their life. But it has its 
know shortcomings too, uh, but uh, no, it's better not to discuss the shortcomings. Let's take the positives here. I think it's fantastic for cricket, IPL coming up, and not even not only for cricket, but all other sports also. You know, you can slowly see other sports also following IPL model. Uh, it is you know, something very good to happen to a whole Indian uh, sports circuit. Right now. When you got your first wicket, when you lost your first wicket, you got the first wicket. I think it was December 21st, if I remember it well. Yeah. When you got your first wicket? Yeah, I think December 21st, that's when I debuted. Yeah. When you got your first wicket? Yeah, when you got your first wicket. When you got your first wicket? 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 What does it take to become the state level cricket player at least? Sorry? What does it take to become a state level cricket player at least? Uh, first, uh, very good question. In fact, very brilliant question. Uh, in fact, it's first, first is the desire, the desire in our heart, and uh, strong, you know, will, will, and the confidence in yourself, in the abilities that you can, uh, you can do well in cricket. That's that's the first. That the seed that is sown inside. You know. Uh, then from that that seed, we have to nurture that seed with hard work and a lot of commitment, and you know. Backing hours is a lot of will. We have to uh, work hard with proper proper coach, coaches, proper trainers, proper facilities, and that's when a good cricketer is born. And uh, otherwise, you have to join a good club. If you're just starting, join a good academy where you have good coaches. You have uh, accredited coaches with level one, level two, who has good knowledge about the game. Join there. Learn the basics of the game. Learn the skills of the game. Basic in your your age, like 10 to 15, start learning the basic skill of the game, and then slowly, you know, put a lot of hard work. If you are really serious about the game, put a lot of hard work. Try it out, and you know, it, it takes a lot of uh, hard work. We all know that your father was a long jumper. Yeah. How come you cho chose cricket as your passion? Mm. <laughs> I think the best way to say is cricket is easy. Compared to athletics, I think that's compared to athletics, it's cricket is far, far, far easier on the body. Uh, it's, and uh, as you say, the rewards is higher. So why honestly <laughs> pushing yourself and getting less rewards? Then you know, it just this this a uh, you know maybe you can put it that way. I, I thought about it, I also thought about it sometimes down the line, why, why I choose cricket other than athletics. But uh, the real reason was, you know, I felt that I could do well in cricket. And I, I had confidence in my abilities. And uh, that's what, you know, uh, helped me to, you know, and so a, bit back, a bit of backing up from uh, the amount of Pace Academy here and Kerala Cricket Association, you know, all, all things fell together for me. That's when I really started uh, you know, to believe that I can do well in cricket. And also, uh, like seeing uh, first inspiration was uh, uh, there's a tour of South Africa to India, 1996, and I uh, had an opportunity to bowl to a few of the great South African cricketers like Hansi Kroni, Dante Roberts, and all those in Cochin. So uh, that way, I, I got a bit of exposure and bowling to them, you know. I could uh, feel that I had something in me, so that's that's when the spark came, and then so I really started to take up against it. Who selected you? <laughs> Obviously, there are uh, five selectors in India, as you know that each, each zone. Like uh, we have five zones in India: so north. South, Central, East, and West. Each zones are one selector each. So we have five selectors in the country. So they are the ones who select uh, the Indian cricket team and all the teams related to Indian cricket. So they selected me. That's what he, uh, you know, that's what uh, seems to be. But I feel that uh, God has given me that opportunity. Are you a bowler, batsman, or an all-rounder? <sighs> Uh, I used I started as a, a bowler and uh, never proved myself as an all-rounder. But I like to think myself, you know, as an all-rounder <laughs> because uh, I know 
started started enjoying my batting now in my later part of my career started enjoying my batting so i think uh, i can get into that slowly getting into that category for them Oh, how do you feel when you got the wicket of Marcus Kasparov, the first wicket? Right? Yeah. No, uh, that's the second wicket. Well, like, yeah, what's that? Yeah. Uh, international career. Correct. Exactly. Absolutely. You know, it's uh, crazy. Not crazy, uh, but you know, I'd say I was I was somewhere in another world, as, uh, as if you were, you know, somewhere in a dream world. You know, especially getting the uh, wicket in. The first over of the match, I got a wicket in the first fourth ball of the match. So that way it was really a dream come true. And this uh, this wicket again, you know, there were there were a good partnership going on, and I could break that partnership, and uh, you know, it was really a good uh, uh, good feeling, you know, good satisfactory feeling. It's that builds your confidence up, and you you know uh, you realize that you can perform in that level. You know that kind of feeling, and it's a it's a zone that you get into. You know, that you, you know, it's a good dream. It's like a dream. Which age did you start cricket? When did you? Which age did you take cricket? Um, started cricket, I think, by 11th, so I should be about 16 years of age. Uh, really started uh, liking, like got liking into cricket. Until then, I used to do athletics. I used to do high jump, long jump, all this stuff. So, otherwise, at uh, 16, uh, I started. Uh, I joined a club called Sandton Cricket Club in Ernakulam, and I started playing there. And uh, at 17, once I finished my 12th, I got an opportunity to jo join MRF Base Foundation, and that's when serious cricket began. First match, uh, I think uh, uh, international match. It was December 21st. Otherwise, uh, my first first class match was for Kerala. I think that was 99, year 99. Otherwise, first state state level match. I think it was 2009 state level. No, sorry, 1999 for Kerala under 19. And uh, otherwise, it's more than that. Uh, you know, tennis ball cricket, all those cricket has been there. A lot of matches. Two more questions will be at the table. Can anyone force you to play? Very, very, very good question. Excellent question. No, uh, no, no one forced me to play cricket as such. As I had, uh, you know, uh, sensible parents, I should say, to who uh, allowed me to choose my path, and uh, and uh, they were, I should say, a bit uh, um, not worried, but but you know, when I choose cricket, they were a bit doubtful about. Uh, how it's going to end up, but once you know results started showing, then uh, they were confident that I would do well. But otherwise, it was uh, my choice. Thank you. Who uh, who do you uh, honor most in the team? Uh, in the Indian team? Yeah. When I play. Uh, I can't, I can't you know, uh, separate any one of them who I, I really honoured, but uh, definitely a lot of respect for those senior cricketers that I talked like Sachin, Saro, Anil, Srinath, a lot of respect for all of them. But they, otherwise, if you really want a role, role model to look, look into, it was Sachin, I think. Something not related to cricket. Yeah, my dad uh, used to be a long jumper, and his name is uh, T. C. Johanna. 
uh, in the, in the, your generation might, might not be knowing him much, but definitely your parents and grandparents must be remembering him. And uh, uh, he holded the, uh, the Asian record in long jump. He got an Asian uh, gold medal in long jump in 1976. And he, it was a record, he uh, the first Asian to cross 8 meters. Uh, 8 meters, that's a milestone in Long Jim. And his first Asian cro crossed that. He crossed 8.07 meters. So that's something uh, remarkable in, the, in that point of time. And uh, he hold, he held that record for almost, uh, the Asian uh, record for almost 20 years. And uh, the Indian record for close to 25 to 27 years. So it's, uh, you know, so compared to him, uh, you know, uh, all my achievements are all you know, just <laughs> down his side. So uh, he's, he's, as, he's has been a, a very, very, very big inspiration for me, still as he is. And, you know, uh, um, you know uh, taking care of him now. <laughs> okay, thank you.